Hi, Dr. Paul Hader here. You know, happiness is something we think happens to us when we have a death in the family or we feel sad. Or if we have a birthday, we feel happy. Or if we have a divorce, we feel sad. Or if we have an accident happen in the car, we, you know, we feel sad. But if we have, you know, some money come our way, we feel happy. But in reality, we're allowing our feelings to be dictated to us by the outside world. And that really doesn't bring about a fulfillment of the soul, our feelings of happiness inside all the time. You know, Buddha talked about, you know, we can't allow the world and the senses to overtake us. And it's been talked about in every spiritual text. It's a choice, a choice to feel happy, and a choice to decide to feel happy at all time. You know, I know a man who at one time he got divorced twice, and the second time he decided he was going to commit suicide. And he didn't. But he went all the way down to that place in the gutter. And at that point he decided to make a change in his life and not allow those things, people places and things in his life to affect him to the point that he would allow them to rule his life. So at any point we have to decide to change and make a promise to ourselves, I'm going to be happy no matter what. Even if, you know, the house burns down, I might be sad on the outside, but I'm going to have this inner happiness no matter what. You know, even if Something happens to my mom, I'll be sad for a little while, but I'm going to have this inner happiness inside. And we can choose that in any point, at any time in our life. And we can decide that happiness is going to be part of who I am each and every day. And when we decide that, we make that promise to ourselves, we make that promise to that child inside, I'm going to bring you joy no matter what. Sometimes you may feel sad for a little while, but I promise you, deep down inside, I will always feel joy. And when we do that, everything changes, everything shifts from that point on. It's all our perspective. You know, the world does not have to dictate our feelings. And most of us have it the other way around. We allow our world to dictate our feelings. <laughs> and that's why we get caught up in all this sadness and why so many people are on depression medications of some kind. I think it's really important that we decide to switch that to feelings of gratitude, feelings of compassion, feelings of understanding, and feelings of, of giving and caring. And then there's no longer the, the need for the, all those medications. And I'm a herbalist and I believe in herbs, but at the same time, I do believe that what we think matters more than anything else. And if you think positive thoughts about your life, if you think happy thoughts about your life, there can be nothing but happiness in your life, no matter what the situation, because you choose to be happy. So I ask you one thing right now. I ask you to choose to be happy. Remember, I love you.